I'm Paula Carney and I teach at the UCL Academy. I'm originally from Ireland but living in London. And so my so far my experience has been really positive. It tends to kind of create a, a really positive and calming atmosphere in a, a large group so it's quite nice. What's an example of some techniques that you see being used? Uh, one of the most popular is the three-part breathing space or the fafbak. They love fafbak when I teach them doppi. They love that one. Um, and also just kind of the 7-Eleven, so elongating their, their exhalation. That's a really popular one for exam time, just because it works so quickly, it can make such a difference. Fafbak is feet on floor, bum on chair. So it's a sitting mindfulness practice. Um, and the students just feel, as they sit most of the day, they can do it anywhere, anytime. They don't need permission. They don't need special circumstances or a special room. So they can, they can do it anywhere. Uh, 7-Eleven is a breathing exercise. So they breathe in for a count and out for a count. And they, the aim is to elongate their exhalation. By doing that, they lower their heart rate and they can instantly feel a little bit better. So they like that one as well. And it's quick. The 7-Eleven is really quick and it's useful for them. Mindfulness is something that I used originally for myself and then brought it to my teaching and brought it to my professional life. So it's an important practice to me. Now I also feel like I'm championing mindfulness and I have, you know, a responsibility to model it. So it's a great reminder to, to use my mindfulness practice when I am feeling pressure and stress. So it's useful in that. And definitely I, I still feel stress um, and I still feel pressure, but I feel like I'm able to manage it a lot better now. All of the teachers in my school know about Dutby. So they know about some of the language, so that the students do speak to them about it, they kind of have an idea of what it is. Also, I do uh, mindfulness courses with the staff, so it's a great way of kind of filtering mindfulness through the school by working with the staff first. So staff have an understanding, they can share that with the students, and that can really make a difference to how it becomes embedded in the school.